All right, guys, I'm going to unbox and show you this product I got called Cars iFi. It's going to allow me to take a Kenwood radio and turn it into a wireless Android Auto device uh, versus having the wire hanging there that I've had. Uh, unboxing it, as you can tell, super small. Uh, it does have a button on here where you can pair two different devices to it and change between two different Android phones by pressing the button. Does give you on the inside of the box a little QR code to scan for setup, along as kind of a how-to. And then it's also going to give you in the package a USB-C cable. And then it also has a USB-C to USB-C as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until I start the truck, and we'll be right back with you to see how this thing works. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you after just kind of a brief pause here what we ended up doing to finally get the Cars iFi wireless Android Auto uh, adapter to work. Uh, you're supposed to just plug it in via the USB. Once the radio comes on, pair it via Bluetooth, and it would automatically go ahead then and turn on the Wi-Fi built in to the device and connect that way. Uh, with the system that we have, for some reason, it did not work directly as a plug and play with the Kenwood radios. So one thing I want to show you is there is a Cars iFi app that you can go ahead and the QR code is on the inside of the box. Once you download the Cars iFi app, and it is pretty buggy, let me tell you that. So sometimes when you open it up, it doesn't open up. Um, anyways, there's going to be a couple different things on here. And there was a setting that said turn off. Some cars don't like it. Um, once I turned that particular setting off, then Android Auto came up on the screen. So at this point, what it actually did is it allows me to go ahead and tap my Android Auto. And I'll turn this down here. Actually, turn it up a little bit so you can help. But anyways, it is now playing wireless Android Auto with no cables attached, okay? To show you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my phone in here. I also have a fast charge holder now. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the car off. Okay, and we're gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna open it up. The light on the device will actually shut off. Now it's obviously the, the device itself is off and not connected. What I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And you're gonna see how long it takes for this device to be able to pair up to the phone and send the Android Auto directly to the radio. It is faster than a couple of the Apple CarPlay devices that I've used in the past, uh, but so far it has been solid coming on every single time. So now that I'm doing a video, watch it probably won't work, but we'll give it a shot. And once the device is paired, you do not need to go ahead and do anything else with it according to the instructions, uh, which I do believe because I haven't had to mess with this thing at all so far. But once the radio finally comes on, the car's iFi device will actually come up with a blue light. So it's getting power, right? At this point, now it'll go ahead and start flashing here shortly. It's going to be looking for the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections out of the phone. Once that goes solid, you may see the phone over there on the right turn on and the Android Auto button came through. So once I go back into the video, I can tell you roughly how long it took, but I would say that was easily under 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds at best with the boot time of the radio. Everything is fully functional. You have your maps. I use Waze, but you can use whatever you want. Google Maps does pull up through here as well. Um, it's just a way of actually saving your power ports. Um, instead of spending a buttload of money on a unit that has wireless Android Auto or wireless CarPlay, they make these devices now that plug in and allows you to do it without having to go ahead and plug in and out of cables. So uh, I'll play around with it again. If you have questions, definitely leave a message, like, share, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, and. Hopefully I will come back in a couple days and let you know how it pans out. Thank you much.